Hey everyone! So, I'm in my glasses today. I wasn't really planning on filming today, but I was like, you know what? I'll just film a favorites video, even if I'm in my glasses, even if my hair looks like a hot mess. We're gonna do this today. So, we're filming a favorites video, and this is March favorites. I just can't believe that we're almost at the end of March. Like, it's just crazy to me how fast summer is actually going, and Aubrey is going to be four in May, and so I'm like, ah. And um, we're actually hopefully going to be going to Disneyland um, the end of April, so I'm hoping that that works out. We're still, like, planning it and stuff. It's kind of a last-minute trip, but we haven't ever just, like, went, me, my husband, and my kids. It's always been with, like, extended family and stuff like that, so... We wanted a vacation with just the four of us, so I think we're going to take him to Disneyland, and I'm super excited. I'm hoping it works out, so we're just we're just working on that this week. So anyway, um, yeah, so, you know, I'm just kind of hanging out of my house. Obviously, the hair and the glasses, eh, just kind of chilling, but I thought I'd do a favorites video today, so I hope you guys want to see that, and I'm just going to jump right in. So the first thing I'm going to mention is... I don't know if you guys have heard of Zoat Soap, but it is so good for cleaning makeup brushes. Um, I've heard of it, like, you know, people like talking about it and stuff like that. It's just called Zoat with a Z, and you can find it at Walmart. I found mine at Walmart. Sometimes it's not there. Like, I've looked before and it hasn't been there, but the last time I went, I looked and it was there, and it's this huge chunk. I mean, I've already used mine quite a bit. I put it in this, like, um, Tupperware inside of my cabinet because I don't want it to get everywhere, but, like, it's like a huge chunk of this like pink soap and it is the best thing in the world to clean makeup brushes. I can't even believe how clean it gets them. Like this is better than anything I've ever tried. I usually use baby shampoo. I've tried the MAC one before. Um, I've tried the Sigma like solid before. Like this thing just blows everything out of the water for cleaning brushes and beauty blenders. Like it's crazy how clean it gets it. And this whole like chunk is like 97 cents. It is so insanely cheap. So, I mean, this is probably going to last at least a year for this one thing, and it's like a dollar. So if you can find Zoat Soap, I would look at Walmart because I found mine there. Some people have to order online because I've never seen it before. And then the last time I was there, I saw it, and I was like, oh, well, it's a dollar. I'll grab it and try it, and uh, best dollar I've ever spent. It is so nice for cleaning makeup brushes. I really, really like it. So Zoat Soap has been huge, and I really, really love that. Um, I'm just going to go into a skincare item. So I'm paler than a ghost. I don't even know if you can tell, but I'm white. I'm a white girl. <laughs> um, there's no messing around. So I'm lucky if I can found, find foundations like light enough for me because I'm pretty pale. So I need sunscreen. Like that's huge for me and for my kids. My, my poor daughter is just so fair and she burns so easy. Just like me, like I don't tan whatsoever. Go in the sun, turn red, get burnt, go white again. It's just, it's not a cute process. Like there's no tanning involved. So I have to wear sunscreen. And I don't mess around when it comes to sunscreen on my face because my face burns <laughs> and it burns fast. So I got the SPF 70. SPF 70, I told you, I have to have like a really high SPF. Um, this is the Neutrogena Ultra Sheer Liquid Sunscreen. And this is for your face. And I just love this for underneath makeup. Like it works so good. Um, you just put it underneath your makeup. You put, well, I just put it on very first when I go in with my serum to my moisturizers and everything like that. And it works so good. Um, I just, I burn so easy and so fast. Like I can be out in the sun for like 20 minutes and I will look red, like red, red. So I have to have sunscreen. My kids, I have to have sunscreen on their faces. And then for the body, I use like a different one. I haven't used that yet because it hasn't like been hot enough for that. But like for my face, I've definitely been using this and I really, really love it. So it's just the Neutrogena Ultra Sure Liquid. You can find this at Walmart. It's around $10 and it's so good and it'll last you like the entire summer. Like it, there's a ton in here and you don't need very much because it's super liquid and you know it kind of like um, goes on and it's a little bit white and then it just kind of blends in with your skin and there's like no white cast or anything it is so good so I recommend this oh pff, maybe I should show you the right <laughs> direction so really really like this a lot um, the hand food hand cream by soap and glory has always been my favorite hand cream Oh, my window is kind of glaring. Sorry. Um, my favorite hand cream of all time. I just love this. It smells so good. I don't really know how to describe it. It's just like the sweet, like, I don't like super, super sweet scents, but it's not like an obnoxious sweet. 
it's just like a very very nice like relaxing kind of sweet scent oh it's just so nice so if you can I'd find this I got mine at Sephora and for this little size it's only six dollars um, I think next time I'll just get the big one for fifteen dollars because I go through these like crazy and I just love this hand cream so if you have a chance to find the hand food hand cream I would definitely try it because it is so so good and it smells really really good <laughs> okay this is coming in, up my haul for March, my March haul, which I haven't filmed yet, but I got this this month and I've already used a lot of it. This is the MAC Cleanse Off Oil to get your makeup off. I've gone through so many of these, like four or five, and it's just so, so good. I really, really like the Colleen Rothschild Cleansing Balm as well. That one is so good, and that one's like really moisturizing cleansing balm and like a thicker consistency. I like that one a lot more for like winter, but for like this time of year, I just love the MAC one. I can't find one I like more than this. I just, oh, it's just so, so good for taking makeup off. I will continue to buy this over and over again because I just love it. Um, the drugstore makes one by Garnier Fertis and it's like the makeup oil and it's a pretty good one. I just don't like the packaging. It seems like it always just like drips oil everywhere and just doesn't like close right. I don't know. I just always get oil everywhere with that one. And this one just doesn't like spill or leak or anything. So I just love this. It's so nice and I definitely recommend it. I don't like makeup wipes because I feel like they tug too much on my face and my eyes. This just takes everything off and it's just so easy. And then I go in with a face wash obviously after and like wash my face. But for taking off makeup, this baby is the way to go. So next I'm going to talk about a brush. Um, I have been loving this brush and I've always loved it. But this month it's like I've been using it like nonstop. I just can't get over it. It's the Sigma Angled Kabuki F84 brush. And it's just so good. It's like an angled one. You can like just kind of put foundation on with it. I used it today. I just, oh, I love it. And they also have a flat top to Kabuki, which I have and I like, but I like this one better. I just, oh my gosh, it's just such a good one. And I really, really like it this month. So this one has been a definite favorite. Okay, so now on to like makeup things. Um, Smashbox came out with a new primer. This is the Photo Finish Pore Minimizing Primer. I don't like Smashbox primers. I'm not a fan. They're too silicone-y for me. I just don't really think they're great. Um, they just, like, the silicone-y texture kind of bothers me. I just don't really like them. But I I saw that they had a pore minimizing one, and it wasn't, like, a silicone-based one. It kind of looks like the Porefessional, but I didn't like the Porefessional because I felt like it was too greasy on my skin, and it didn't really do much. Um, but I really, really like this one. This is just, like, the little one. I got this at Ulta. I think it's, like, $15 for this little one. For the full size, it was like, I think it was almost 40. And so I wanted to try it out before I bought the full size. But the consistency, let me see if I can just get a little bit of my hand. It's exactly like the professional. Like, do you see that? It's just kind of like this skin colored consistency. It's not like silicone-y. It's just, it's really, really good. And I love this. And I'll definitely buy the full size when this is done because I've been just thoroughly enjoying this. And I mean, the little tiny one is just so cute. It's like a little baby. So really really like this a lot um an eyeshadow quad i've just been loving i got this for christmas i've used it so many times it's my dior quint and this is in the color or the shade montagine i'll link it below because i mean these names just kill me every time um, i'm gonna take out the eyeshadow brushes but i mean they're just so beautiful there's like a darker brown color kind of a lighter brown a pinky color a white color and the center is a matte brown all of the colors have some shimmer in it except for the center color that one's completely matte but i mean it's not like a chunky glitter shimmer or anything it's just like the most beautiful sheen it is so pretty i actually just did did a getting ready with me video and i used this so i'm going to link that below because you can just kind of see like how some of them work. I just love this quad so much. It is beautiful. It is very expensive. I don't know if it's like necessarily worth it because of the price point, but for me it's worth it because I love it. So it's just beautiful. And um, yeah, it's Dior and it's kind of fancy pants. So I really like that a lot. Um, a paint pot that I have just been loving and I got this for Christmas as well. This is Stormy Pink and I have it on today. I don't know if you can see because, you know, I have my glasses on. But it's just like this pinky, purpley, like, I'm just going to swatch it because I just love it. I mean, it's just so pretty. Look how beautiful that is. It's like a, kind of like a dirty purple. You know, it's like a dirty kind of purpley. It's not like super purple. It's kind of more like movie kind of to mauve tone. But I mean, it's just a beautiful paint pot and I've been using this a ton and I really like a MAC paint pots 
are my favorite eye bases of all time. That's like all I own, so I really like MAC Paint Pots a lot. Um, this is a lipstick from MAC. My favorite MAC formula of all time for lipsticks is the Amplified. I feel like their mattes are beautiful, but they're just a little bit too matte. And um, their sheeny ones are really pretty too, but my favorite ones are just the Amplified because they're like the matte effect, but they're not super drying. And so I just love them. This is Up the Amp, and I just love this color. I have it on today. Um, oh my gosh, it's just so, so pretty. It's like just the perfect color for like spring and summer, I feel like. And it's just like this purple right here. Like I said, I'm wearing it today underneath. I have the NARS Alagua lip, uh, lip liner underneath it. But it's just so pretty. It's so purple. So beautiful for like the kind of springy, summery kind of time of year. So anyway, I really, really like Up the Amp by MAC. It's beautiful and it's one of my all-time favorites by them. And the last item, this is the Too Faced Bronzed and Poreless Pore Perfecting Bronzer. I love this. I just recently got it. I'm not sure if I hauled this one yet or not, but it is just, oh my gosh, it's so pretty. Look at that color. Like, it is the perfect. It's super, super light. It's more of a warm bronzer for me. I look better in like a warmer tone kind of rosier bronzer with, um, that's like super light because I'm very fair, but I have to have a little bit of bronzer. Bronzer is like my like obsession. I love bronzer so much. Um, and this is just like the perfect, I have it on today. It's like the perfect kind of warm kind of bronzer for pale skin. And I just, oh my gosh, I love it. It's matte. It's just beautiful and I love it so much. And um, this, it doesn't smell like chocolate, which I mean, people are probably going to think I'm weird, but I don't like the other ones that smell like chocolate. I just feel like they kind of make me sick. <laughs> it's not like a chocolate scent. It's just kind of like the fake chocolate scent and I just can't do it. So like the, I had the milk chocolate soleil at one point and I had to return it because it was just, it overwhelmed me too much and it just made like me feel sick when I put it on. I didn't like the scent, um, but I love this one because it's not scented and it's just, oh, it's beautiful. I'm hoping that my camera's focusing and I'm hoping my window's not like, you know, making it too bright, but um, I really, really like this one a lot. So that's been huge for me. And I think that's it, you guys. Um, that's all my favorites for the month of March. <laughs> I was getting a little bit tongue-tied there. But yeah, that's all my favorites, and I hope you guys enjoy, and I will talk to you again real soon. And please make sure to like and subscribe, and please comment. I love like hearing all the different comments. Tell me what your favorites were. Tell me what you like. Um, tell me what videos you'd like me to do, stuff like that. I just love interaction. I think it's so fun. So anyway, I'll talk to you guys later. Bye!